Greetings and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. I'm Catherine Sky, and my goodness, so much has happened. Um, so I decided to kind of run the game for a tiny, tiny bit of time. <clears throat> tiny bit of time. Uh, so our loan is now zero. Uh, mostly so we can build things with with very, uh, very little waiting time in between. I stopped the date again. Um, I would like to turn it back up to one, one X speed. Um, and there have been a lot of things that I have changed in the game. One of them, a couple of people mentioned this to me, that the docks, the big docks that we had here with all the pretty little pieces uh, and all of the uh, extra terminals, all these little bits and pieces, this thing was costing me over 9,000 per month, and now it's costing 2,000 once I put it back down to the small dock, uh, just the small little one. Yes, we're going to keep that. <laughs> made our profits go up significantly. Um, so that's one change that I made. I also, I, I don't know if there were other things, but one thing that I did learn was that even these little buildings here, these little guys, the buildings add to the cost, the monthly maintenance fee. So um, it, may, it might look pretty, but it does actually cost you to maintain. So I'm going to be more frugal with that until we get to a point where we really don't care. Um, and right now we still kind of do care. We are making some amount of money, uh, quite a bit, some months, but at other times we're still losing a little bit. Um, like for example, the, the ship route with the bricks is kind of negative some of the time, kind of positive. Um, overall it's positive, but it's not, um, it's, yeah, it's, it's making us some money, but it's slow. Um, with the trains, I ended up adding another wagon to each of them. So we have three wagons on each, so they can carry 33 passengers at a time. We're still not ready to quite kind of quit this uh, uh, this one, uh, uh, Laffy Taffyville to uh, Mark Foxton. Still not ready to to kick this uh, off the uh, the the uh, the vehicles yet because um, we're still using it like crazy and I don't want people to go back to private transport so for whatever reason they're not only using the train and um, one of the things that we did get is we got a new type of vehicle which is kind of nice we got the Droshki which is um, it costs a little bit more per year instead of 3,000 it's 4,300 it can carry one additional passenger and it goes a little bit faster, 20 kilometers an hour. So that is something that we could think about. We did get this Asian horse draw carriage with side stakes, but it is limited to only three products. So obviously we can't change that one uh, just yet, but I am thinking about possibly upgrading all of our uh, passenger vehicles to these at kind of a three quarter ratio, because if these carry three passengers, these carry four, then we'll end up um, probably it's it's like a side grade kind of a thing except we get a little bit more speed out of it uh what else can i say i found a fun fun little route here which i'm thinking about uh all ships now somebody brought this up that was quite interesting that you can make a ship route with all ships and it doesn't actually have much infrastructure cost. If you go with the cheap docks and go with the regular boats, you just wait for them to get there and it'll be fine. We have lumber here, or I should say it's um, wood. I guess it's called wood. Logs, it's called logs, pardon me. So we have logs that go to the sawmill and those are turned into planks, two to one ratio. And then from there, whoopsies, no, no, no. Why are you going here? game what you do oh sorry the down key got stuck oh my goodness i was like whoa what's happening that's not a usual thing so forgive me um anyway we have this stefan tools factory which turns these planks into tools guess who needs tools fort kyle needs tools all right so what i'm thinking um the the navigation here is quite good if we look at the navigable routes here uh even though this area here is a bit sandy. It looks sandy, but it is navigable. So that's great. We can go from here, logs around to here, and then down to here. And then we can either go around this aisle here or put a dock here and a dock here, and then go down to Fort Kyle. Um, 
we could have the port here at Fort Kyle or go down to there or possibly make a, a little cut here in the land and get down to there. That might be a fun thing to do as well. So anyway, that's project, future project for future KOS. At the moment, I'd really like to finish this line. Ah, one more thing. We got a most interesting locomotive here. If we look at the vehicles, right now we're using mostly the Type T. Now the other ones have been uh, more expensive with not a lot of extra power, like this one, the Class B is, uh, yeah. But then we have something like the Class PV. It's 181,000 per year, huge upgrade in uh, uh, speed, top speed. Look at the power, 300 kilowatts, attractive effort, 60 kilonewtons. If we compare this, it seems like, oh my God, this is 50,000. And then this is 181, oh no. But you get, if we multiply eight times three, that's 240 kilowatts of power, which means that we can probably run at more than three times the amount of cars. So we probably would actually save ourselves money by going with the Russian class PV for something like the stone lines. Now we'd have to upgrade the passenger cars as well because of the speed increase. Um, and obviously they are on the slower 40 kilometers an hour track at the moment. Um, but yeah, this is looking very tempting. It would be extremely expensive though. A million dollars per locomotive. So that's, that's something in our future. Um, but we might outfit the oil line with these guys. That would be very tasty. What do you think? Now the Fairley is 45 kilometers an hour. Huge, huge amount of power though. 530 kilowatts of power, 130 kilonewtons of power, um, which I believe this is the acceleration um, so far as I have heard. And that's pretty darn tasty, but $323,000 a year for that. Now, I'm not so concerned about the top speed on the cargo, more about the power and uh, how many cars we can take with that. Anyway, uh, let us finish our oil uh, line and then we'll get to it. So we have um, this area, we have our little parking waiting area for our trains here to go with the weight condition on those guys. And I think think I think we should be good to go right we were going to connect to Mark Foxton how's Pep City doing do we have any I guess we can't we don't even have any passengers waiting because we haven't set up any bus lines here at all same here with Erieville I guess we probably need to get those going or do we have any uh traffic no, we don't. Oh my gosh. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a road from Pep City over to Erieville because I think they just don't have a road to go on. And so maybe if they have interest, they'll start being like, hey, you know, we should go down to that place over there. See, there we go. Let's make a small dirt road here. We can afford it. It's fine. Um... Do we want to go down a tiny bit? Whoa, that's a little bit the wrong way down. That's really way down. Hold on. Okay, so this road is going to be simple. There we go. Excellent. That's fine. We'll just let it be simple. And we will see if people go to Erieville or not, if they have any interest in going there. Do we have a town? We have Cayune City over here. Does that connect? Yeah, it does. Do we have any passengers going here? Look at this. KOS all interested in passengers. What is she doing? Silly KOS. This is the correct overlay. Anyway, we will see if people go from Pepsi. Ooh, they do go this way. How many people? Seven or eight? Mm. Oh, all right, okay, it's gonna be fine. We'll get there. All right, so last time we were kind of like, oh my God, so much, so much destruction gonna have to happen here. But yes, it does have to happen. Um, let's go ahead and put these roads through, railroads. Oh, that's definitely not the right way to connect this. Yeah, we probably should use rails. That might work better than regular roads. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's do this. Take this through here. Yep, good, good. Expensive. Ow! God, that hurt. I. Oof, it'll be okay, though. It'll be fine. Um, let's see. This is actually one of our major bus lines going through here, I believe. So we're gonna start our little cross probably here. 
you know, we can do it as long as this block, just to have the most, those are 120, 80 there, 92, 99, one, no, 120, there we go. Okay, and then the same on this side, good. All right, perfect. Now then, let us, probably we can have the trains wait I'm wondering if we should have them wait here. Though probably here. Maybe I should delete this road and have the... Hmm, let's look at the lines here. Yeah, that one goes that way. That is not convenient, is it? It definitely ain't convenient. I could have the stop here instead, perhaps. Um and then just delete this road. Yeah, maybe I should, I don't know. I don't know what we'll do. Or we could just have the train blocking. It's really not gonna block it for very long. So I think I'm worrying for nothing here. Let's go ahead and put in our one-way signals here. Let's go this one this way. And then the other one, we'll put it at train length from the end there. Okay, that's just fine. So now we have our start and bit the bullet and ate the very, very expensive, expensive cost there. Let's go ahead and borrow some more money. Gonna need a bit to go through here. I'm gonna go ahead and go through this uh, edge of this mountainous area. If you wanna see, they have contour lines over here. Um, though, look at these, like, you can see the major ones, ish. They're these dark lines, but look at these tiny, tiny, like grays, you can barely, barely see. It's quite very, very too subtle. Too, too subtle, I think. I don't I don't really think that that's very useful. Um, but anyway, yeah, we can see where the contour lines are closer together. Obviously that means a steeper uh, rise or fall in the landscape, depending on your proclivities. <laughs> and um, yeah, we wanna keep it well away from that area. I think it's just easier to look on the map just from a particular side, um, if you ask me. So, uh, how do we want to do this? I think I'm going to change this area so that we, you know what? We, maybe we won't change the area. Maybe we'll just use our skills as, oh, the Frontenac, hello. Okay, let's just be distracted and look at this new ship. Shall we? Oopsies, there we go. The Frontenac. What do we got here? 28 kilometers an hour. That seems fast. Yes, it is fast. All right, this is a passenger only ship. Hmm. Okay. It looks nice. 131,000 a year. It's expensive, but it does go quickly. Uh, I think we're going to pass on that. We have no passenger lines at the moment for, uh, for ships. All right, so let's get this fun stuff. I think I'm going to do the mountain side first. Um, but before I go here, let's start with this side. How are we going to get off of this line? We want to go, we need to have this thing kind of in a T-junction going here because we want uh, passengers from Pep City as well as the oil coming or the fuel coming from this uh, refinery or whatever the heck it is. Okay, so this is our cross. Let's take it right from there and go like this, I think. Go, there we go. All right, that's fine. And let's take this the same way. Excellent. Oh, that's looking really good. Okay, and then we'll have from here down to here so we're gonna make this as fast as possible so that's 62 here oh wow this curve is actually quite quite steep this one wondering if I should make it no it's gonna run into those mountains otherwise okay let's do it let's start from here let's start from this side instead just go like this, shall we? 118, 108, that sounds much better. 
Not that we probably are going to need this, but let's just do it anyway. Yep, there we go. And then we'll do the same thing with this one. This one connects here. Right. Uh, that does not look right. <clears throat> game, <laughs> game, why you do? No, 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 no. I think that's wrong. Let's start here, shall we? Start with this. There we go. Yes, good. And then go back up here. Okay, I think that's proper. It's no longer sort of overlapping it. That was a very strange, strange thing. And I don't know, I don't think we can get it any less sharp. I think it would just, yeah, move that curve one way or another. Okay, great, great, great indeed. Okay, so we are not gonna need these to be double slip, sli uh, slip switches slip i almost said slip stitches uh, but no we're not we're not stitching at the moment um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a thing there we have one there um and we want one here as well to make way for trains coming in on that line okay and then same here i'm just gonna make all of the trains wait anybody that's coming down here connecting okay great here and there okay i think that's should be correct all right fine looking very nice very good uh do we need an extra signal on this one i think so in the middle of the bend might work just to have extra trains uh on this line we have one there we, oh yes, we need one here as well. I forgot about that one. There we go. Seems very reasonable. And I think that's good because we're gonna start to get longer and longer trains as we go along here. Do we want one here in the middle? Probably not. It should be fine. Okay, let's go back to our train tracks and start building uh, with this landscape in mind, of course. Let's go here. Take this line first. Can we... Nope, we can't quite do that. What is that looking like? Should we up? Fix slope. Nope. We, oh, here we go. We can go up a little bit. That might be good. Wow, that is not what I wanted to do. We need to go down on this one. Yep. Well then. Right. That is totally not what we wanted to do here. Let us just, let's delete this because I think that kind of, kind of got to us in the wrong way here. Well, maybe we do need it actually now that I'm looking at this. Can I go down with this at all? That's going up. Here's going down. That's it. That's the lowest we can go on this. 121,000. Okay, we're going here-ish. So we can keep track of where we are. We should have curved it a tiny bit more, because man, this is rough times. Yeah, let's go here with this curve. 99 kilometers an hour. Can't really make it any better than that. This is quite deep there. Okay. Can we put that up a bit? Yeah, there we go. That's better. Hey, that's nicer. Let's go with this. Okay. And here we are. Um, now we got to figure out how to get to here. <laughs> this is going to be fun. We could probably, what we probably need to do. Yep. Construction, not possible. This is pretty bad. Let's delete the roads for now. We're going to have a, I don't know, what do you call this? Uh, urban renewal project or rural renewal project. So we're not quite urban with this build here. Okay. That is, let's see, go down. There we go. Look at that. That's pretty. That is pretty. 
Okay, so even though it's completely unnecessary, we are going to connect these roads because I want them to be connected. So let's go here. That looks pretty decent. Okay, and then we'll connect this one right here. Nice. And that's a lot better than the squirrely way that they were before. Okay, that looks quite nice. Now let's connect the rest of the railroad. Let's make sure we get that crossing. Uh, oopsies. No, 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 no. There we go. Oh, please too. There we go. Go all the way down here. Hope it'll do the whole stretch. If not, then we'll <clears throat> we'll be back there shortly. Oh, uh, doesn't do the whole stretch. Nope. Oh, it wants us to go through the mountain for a billion dollars. I don't think we'll be partaking of that particular offer at the moment. We're just going to go around the mountain at the moment. I don't know if it's cheaper, though. If anyone wants to check, that's 55,000. Another 52, so it's around 110 or so. 107. 220. Yeah, it's cheaper to do this, definitely. It's 250,000, quarter million instead of 1.1 or 1.4 million or something, whatever it was. So that's, that's that, but that's an option. We can do tunnels. That's good to know. Okay, let's put in the signals here and get them going. So one way signals, there we go. And let's see. This one, that one is the nearest one there. So we're just gonna put them at reasonable places on the line here so that trains can pass or trains can uh, come closer to each other than one giant block for the entire thing because that doesn't work very well. Let's have one road crossing. There we go. Even though that's probably not a road people are going to use. Let's put one here and then the next one. Gee, this one probably might go there. And then we'll have one probably there, I guess. Maybe we'll have another one here just to give more room for, for trains here. Okay, I think that's actually looking pretty good. Um, I might, I'm thinking about adding, adding all trains from the same, I almost said boutique there. <laughs> Tell me, no, I didn't say train boutique. I really didn't. <laughs> that sounds lovely. Anyway. <laughs> I think at Mark Foxton, I think we might actually need a uh, cargo, cargo platform. So let's add that. That's going to be another <clears throat> death to all inhabitants of the city, but nobody cares. It's fine. Platforms. Let's add our cargo platform here. Um, what we can do is we can add track. And I believe that the cargo platforms can share the central platform. So why don't we just add the track here and then get the platform here and then we can add another cargo track on the other side, like here. And that can share that if we want to. So we're trying to be proactive and reduce costs on these stations because why not? Uh, there's no reason why not to. So um, now the qu good question is can we connect this little guy so that it's before the cross. I definitely want to know this information too. Can we do this? One building will be removed. Yes, that's fine. Ooh, this is not happy here. Can I, hello? I'm not connecting to the right part. That's why. It's like, KOS, really? What are you trying to do? I think this is because of the road. I don't want to delete that road. I think what I'm going to have to do is move this point to be here and then connect here. Yep, let's do this and then connect here somehow. Maybe we need to go past this to try there. 
too much slope. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, sure. We can do this, good. And this, I wanna make a double slip switch. There we go, keep thinking double slip stitch. And this will work for going either direction, but uh, this is the hard bit. That will make this uh, quite, quite a big, 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 long transition. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, all right, let's let's delete this. Let's change this up a bit. I think I think I want to do something different. Now this, remember, we made this cross as long as possible. I think I want to revisit that. I don't think that that is that great of a idea now that we have this third item in here. So let's. Why don't we see if we can? Oopsies! Something is very wrong with this road here. Okay, that looks happier. This horse is like, yo, yo, what's going on with this? We are not happy campers here. There we go. This we can do though. There we go. Ah, oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. And here, now we can make a longer X. I, I don't think we actually, you know what? Let's make it at this side just in case we need to add another sneaky um another sneak in from that side let's do that shall we we will lose a tiny tiny bit uh, on efficiency here but i think it's worth it in order to have more platforms okay and we're keeping our switches at the same place anyway this is really great oh my god this is great mm. now then I'm also going to do that on this side. Let's delete this as well. I want to add this in here. There we go. And then put the cross afterward. Ooh, and we have a very long stretch with no signals. Let's fix. Oh, no, that was because we had the X there. Um, I forget which side we have to do. Is it from the outside that we have to do the X or from the inside? Let's look. Let's just see. Let's do that here. And then outside. Oh, there we go. Either side apparently works. Excellent. Okay, so we do have a signal here, which we're going to bulldoze. Let's grab the, our new signals and say, yes, this works there. There is one there. Um, and I guess we're just gonna wait on these guys. What is this? Why does this look so strange here? Are those for... maybe those are the switchy things for those? Ah yes, they're, they're ahead of time. Okay, that's fine. Good, now we have a cargo station there. All right, oh this is so exciting, we're almost there! <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Can you tell? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> But now comes the huge, huge expense of uh, getting trains done. So we're gonna start off with the train coming here to Tessellatrix Town. And um, this is, yep, oil, good, good. We need to get vehicles on the line in order for people to say, hey, we should use that. Mm -hmm, that's useful. Now, rail. I would really like to have more trains rather than less trains taking the oil down. Now remember, we have two crude oil to one refined oil or regular oil. Now then, should we, I guess we could, how much does this cost per month? Let's find out. Train Depot, hello. Wanna see how much you cost per month? It's $150 a month. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna get the trains all the way from there. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm gonna put them, I'm gonna put a new train depot over here by the lake. I think that's festive enough. All right, let's build ourselves a train depot here. Let's see. Go here. And trainy bits and things and stuff. Yay. Good. 
good. Add our slip switch. Yay, double slip switch. Boom, yes. And let's get ourselves a couple of signals. Uh, and these are not one way. Very important to note this. Those come out. There we go. Uh, we're going to keep priority on the main line so that the trains from here will wait. Okay, now let's get stuff going. We need to make lines first. Okay, we're going to have a line started from here. Tessellatrix 2 here all the way up to Erieville. And we're going to wait until full here at Tessellatrix Town. And this one is going to be called Train Cargo Tess Oil. Okay. I think we want, that's how we did it before. Sure. Yeah. Tess Oil. Okay. Uh, actually, Tess Oil Fuel. That's probably a better name. Let's see. Tess Oil to, no, actually, it's just oil or crude oil to oil, crude to oil. We'll do it that way. Okay, so that's our first one. Oops, what's going on now? Oh, what's going on? Hello? Could not connect all stations. Well, then that does not sound good. Let's uh, let's look at this uh, route then. Hello. Ah, maybe I am connecting the wrong part. Okay, we have this. We have the crossover there. Did I forget something somewhere? Ah, you know what? I bet there's a signal that's wrong. Let me go and check for that. All right, I think I found it, and it seems to be this very, um, <clears throat> very badly trend like, uh, planned track. Somebody did this. Who even knows who? No clue who could have that been. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I don't know who's been playing my game while I haven't been here. <clears throat> yes. All right, let's bulldoze this. And uh, this is just a right mess, isn't it? Check that out. Okay. Uh, let's get this again. Again, try to make this work. Wow, okay. This is just an unhappy situation completely. Let's see if we can get that. Nope. Okay. Oh, that's right. I was pulling from the very edge, and I don't think it likes that very much. Okay, now here, we need to do our X first and foremost. Have that as early as possible. That way we can curve this one. In fact, let's make a better curve here while we're redoing it. Let's give this the opportunity to be fabulous. And gently curve this as much as possible. There we go. So we get slightly higher speeds of like two miles or two kilometers an hour faster. Yeah, it's just fine. Okay. Oh boy. Ah, this is colliding. That's not good. Okay. We have to delete this one. Apparently we have to do the inner one first on this. Okay. It's just fine though. That looks just fine. Let's take this one down this way and then take it part way and then we'll connect it here. There we go. That's looking very nice. Okay, good deal. I wonder if I should have put the uh, signal in here. Let's see if we can. We might be able to sneak it in here. Yeah. Let's put this one here. We'll do one ways. Have one here, and then this one will go there. Looks like we do have one right there. I don't know how that one survived this entire mess. I wonder if that's a bug that it didn't delete that. That's, unless that was a bit that we had. I don't know, that seems very strange to be there. But anyway, I don't remember if it was there or not. Anyway, let us go ahead and just put a signal there and one there. I think we're good. We have this one on this end. Yes. 
And then I want one. Yeah, we have one in the center there. Let's put another one in the center here. Sure. That one's going this way. This one is going that way. Yeah, we can put one in the center as well here. Okay, looking pretty darn good. Let's see if that solved our line problems. So I completely deleted the the root here. Let's see if we can go here to here, please. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yes. Ah, yes, it didn't quite take the first time. All right, perfect. Now then, after Tessellatrix Town, we're going to Erieville, and then uh, let's set this to be full again. Now then, we want our train to come into this station, to Pep City. There we go, and that's the way we want it to go. Now, um, is it using the correct platform? Yes, it appears to be, so that's perfect. That's very, very good. And then I guess we just, we need another uh, rail to go this way. I didn't even think about that, uh, to get back to Tessellatrix Town. So, all right, we'll just do that. It's only needing to be one way. So I could, instead of having it cross these tracks, we could have it just sneak off from here. Can we sneak this in? You know what? Let's see if we can sneak this. Let's just delete um, part of the Xing here. We don't actually need all the Xing, I think. So let's just take that out. Let's go here. There's one thing to future proof stuff, and completely another thing to like all the things and all the stuff, even if we don't need it. Okay, so this is what we want from here. Okay, so we're gonna say, yes, do this, perfect. And then we'll delete that signal because I think it might be in the way once we put our new X in here. Let's do the X then, right here then. There we go, perfect. Signals. One ways, yes. Um, now then, do we want this to be one way? I think it's gonna be one way anyway. Um, but just in case, let's just put a regular signal there. I don't think we're gonna have any trains going directly for this uh, thing, because oil needs to be processed first. We don't even need a double slip switch there either. Um, we're gonna have trains wait for this train, I think. Actually, it doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, let those go. And we'll put the, the other signal there as well. Okay, it looks pretty darn good. So here, we do need one. Do we have one there? Yeah, we do have one. Perfect, good, good, good. And then coming out, I guess the first signal is right down there. Okay, it's looking good. Excellent, I almost forgot about that little sneaky thing to the side there. All right, let's look at our lines. Tesla Lake Drix, Town to Erieville to Pep City. Whew, there we go, this is exciting. This is really, really exciting um, to get these trains going there. It is a very long line though. I kind of worry about that slightly. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and do another new line from Pep City. And we want this to be on a particular platform, but we'll get to that. Um, and this is gonna be fuel. I wonder if I should come here and collect any passengers from Pep City and make mixed cargo. I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just go here. We could come, well, there's the other thing. It's like we could take passengers back and forth. Hmm, nah, let's just do this for now. Okay, let's just make sure that we are in here the correct way. Yes, we are. Now then, afterward, I want you to go to this waypoint. You know what, I found another way to do waypoints, by the way, you don't actually have to do a waypoint, you can do a signal instead. So we can actually delete that waypoint since it might cost us money, I'm not sure if it does or not. But we can make sure just to go through that signal and come into the train station this way. So we'll have ourselves a one-way route with parking. Okay, I think that's probably all we need to do here. Let's go ahead and just delete this waypoint. Delete. 
Wait, waypoint, yeah. Go away, sorry. Go, go, go. Okay, perfect. So now, um, do, 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 do. I think we're good. We just need to assign trains, but we need to probably name this something. So we're going to call this. So which refinery is this? This is the Mortico fuel refinery. So we need to rename this uh, thing. Mortico refinery. Yes. All right. That's important. So we know where stuff is and you are... This is the Alnilana oil well. So we're going to be, we're just going to name it that Alnilana. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh my God. Alnilana oil well. Yes. Good. That way the names of the stations will be proper and that we won't think of them as city stations when they're clearly not. Okay. That's fine. Going to Mark Fox and Central. That is perfect. Now comes the big, bad, hard part. <laughs> trains, expensive, expensive trains. All right, so we're gonna need roughly, oh, is this a one-to-one -one ratio? Yeah. So basically two times the number of trains running on this route as this one. So I think I'm gonna start off maybe a little bit gently with uh, two trains and one. Oh wait, one thing we need to do on that line is rename it for one thing. Let's go call this um, train cargo mort to mark oil. Oh, actually it's fuel, not oil. There we go. If I could, I need to remember to actually put all the letters in the words that would help. <laughs> now then uh, we want you to full load at Mortico Refinery. That's quite important. And then the here also, yep, we got that sorted. And this one is gonna be, I'm kind of tempted to do half load, full load any and wait for three minutes. So it gets some of the load, at least something. Um, there wouldn't be a situation where it wouldn't get at least, oh no, it could get less than half. Ah, so I wish you could like adjust this more um, more granularly, like I would like to, to wait for like 30% uh, instead of 50%, but we'll just say wait. Um, I want you to wait like four minutes. <laughs> sure, okay. Um, this one, that should be fine. I think it should be fine because the oil well produces constantly. Three minutes should be fine. Okay, let's do this. Let's buy trains now buy vehicles and should we go for the expensive ones this is going to be expensive but that's okay we can do this let's get the russian class pv this is the one that goes quite fast has very very good power and 181,000 a year let's add this and then we need tank cars so this carries all three of the products that we need let's just see how many we can do let's add to it's mediocre right now Boom, 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 boom. Okay, now it's getting into poor zone. Poor mediocre. Holy fuzzy cats. That's like a very long train. How long is this train? It is 0.2 kilometers long. How long are our stations, by the way? <laughs> I think they're too... I think they're too short. I think they're 160 and they need to be 200. I think let's see. What is our, what is the standard length of a platform? Uh, come on, come on. There we go. Passenger station. Yeah. 160. We need to, to be longer, just slightly longer, much longer, more longer. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Terminals. It doesn't tell us how long this is. Does it anywhere? Really thing? Terminal one. Let's configure it. Does it say in the configuration? Platforms. At least we can fit another one on here, I believe. Let's see, can we fit another track piece? We can fit another track piece. Uh, not there though. No, all right. Okay, we would have to adjust the tracks for all of this stuff. 
Hmm. <laughs> this is the hmm part. We can do this one. This is going to be an easy one. Eerieville. Yeah, let's do this one. Tracks. Okay, let's add. So if this is 160, that means one, two, three, four. So they're 40 each, right? Right. I believe so. So this would be 200. Let's make sure of this. Does it tell us? Let's measure this. Let's, we're trying our best here. Come on, game. You need to give us more information. Okay, so this is 160. Right, so they're 40 each. So these trains right now are two kilometers long. And I wonder if they need to be 240. Let's make them 240 just in case it's longer. So we're going to add two pieces to each of our stations that we're going to. This is going to be a pain in the socks to get the rest of them up to snuff, isn't it? Oh, man. Okay. It'll be fine. Nobody's... We're not going to Pep City. It's fine. But this one is going to be a major pain. But it's okay. We can pause. I think... Yeah, we're paused right now. Let's just quickly add it. It's, it's not going to be as bad as you think, KOS. It's just fine. I promise. Configure. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be just fine. There we go. Platforms, one, two, and one, two. Good. Hey, easier than we thought. Isn't it nice? Let's get out of this mode, excuse me. Two tracks. Okay, that has to be redone just a tiny bit. I think from there at the very least. This is fine. This is like a pull-up kind of station here. And we're having one-way uh, parking. Sure. Yeah. Okay, good, good. That, I hope, is still working. We're going to have to check each of the connections. And here, too, we need to make this station longer, and it's going to have to go on this side. That's a bit terrifying. Okay, that's fine. But the good thing is, it's only the cargo side. However, we can make it all sides. That's going to be interesting. Okay, let's take this. Just get it sorted. Rails, rails, and rails. I guess you might as well make all the sections longer while we're at it. But at some point, this might need a slight rejig, I think. Wait. Oh no! <laughs> God, I did. No, no, no. Bad KOS. Bad KOS. Put the wrong kind of platform on there. Yeah. Okay. So that's fine. Um, we can go ahead and put the roofs on these things as well. Here we go. Yeah. So it looks nice. There we go. Okay. We'll connect up the tracks as well. This is going to be fun. See, who says we don't have fun here? <clears throat> oh, wow. Okay, so that's coming right off the switch here. Let's just delete this. So it doesn't have to be that sharp of a curve if we change the way we kind of have things going. Let's take off these signals. There we go. Nice. Okay. So we'll do the tightest curve first, I think. Um, this is so weird because you don't expect the tracks to be white. I keep trying to connect to those roofs, but that's clearly not what we want to do here. Okay, let's do this. Uh, or maybe we should do something a little bit. Let's, let's do this one. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Yep. Give thing. Give, give. Why you not work thing? I really want you to work. Construction is possible. I promise you thing. It is possible. No. Oh, the sadness. Okay, maybe it's not possible. <laughs> yeah, every time I try to connect it there, it does not want to connect. 
don't know if it's because of... You know what we could do? We could kind of move the line. Yeah, the problem is, is this is this is really not in a good spot here. Oh geez, I forgot to connect that place back. Hmm. All right, we're gonna have to do some major remodeling. Let's get rid of this. And maybe we're gonna just move this to the side. I think we can maybe push this train. I hope. Okay, train. Where did it go? Is it? There it is. Yay! Okay, it's getting kind of pushed up a little bit. So if I move this quite a bit to the side, I'm hoping that we'll be able to connect this. So instead of having this curve this way, we'll actually have it further. Yeah, there we go. Oh, all the trains are being like, whoa, KOS is on a rampage. Yes, she is. So if we do that, we just connect it much further out. I think life might be slightly happier for our trains. Let's try that. We might have to remove this road as well. We'll connect that back up because I like the way it looks when it's connected. Oops, sorry. I grazed that. I'm like concentrating so closely on my thing. I ran into my microphone with my, my ear muffins. Okay, what does that look like? That looks terrible. <laughs> it's like, that's the same thing as we had before. We don't want the same thing. If we wanted the same thing, we wouldn't have changed it. Yeah. This is, cl this is further, much further. Oh, I was looking at this road. I was like, oh, okay. Hopefully that will work. So we want this part to be straight. Why is this colliding? No. Maybe it wasn't at the very end or something. No. Oh, I think there's a bit of track here. Ooh, that was not nice. Stepping on a nail in the garden or something. That was quite bad. Okay. Replanning all the tracks. And see, here I thought it had to be closer to the city, not further. Lessons learned, that's for sure. Oh, it's right here. Okay. All right. We have to redo all the signals as well, but we'll get to those in a second. I want this to work. I really want it to work. Okay. Try it again. I'm going to go from here to connect up to here. We really want this to be possible, game. Like, I promise you. Oh my god, why is this not working? Okay, either this is the fiddliest thing ever. Maybe, did I connect it at the right spot? Yeah. Help. This is so pesky. What if I did this and then connected it like this? Yeah, that works. So why does the other one not connect properly? Game, why you do? Okay, that one actually works like this, sort of. Okay, if I do this, say okay. Then I delete this bit. Do we have to trick the game into doing this stuff? This is a bit iffy, if you ask me. Come on, game. We know you want to do this properly. I know it, like in my heart. I know you want to feel accomplished. And you did it. See? That wasn't that hard. It was fine. And see, it's beautiful now. And you have something to be proud of, game. <laughs> I don't know why the heck it didn't work. That should be kind of fixed. Yes, that would be nice. Um, yeah, that's really strange that it wouldn't connect otherwise. Now then, uh, let's do our cross. Uh, pretty decent length here just to make sure that we can get it across. Yay, I love this though. This is much more forgiving than Transport Fever 1. Oh, look at this. This is great. Oh my god, the video is going so long again. But it'll be fine. We had to fix major things this time. 
It'll be good. There we go. All right, let's do, again, switches right before the crossings. So the one ways. Okay, so where are the next ones? They're up here. Let's do, again, plenty of passing, not passing, but block, blocked areas here. There's one there. Let's do, say, here and there. Hello, give. Did it do? No, it did not do. Do the thing, please. There we go. Oof. Here we go. So now I have no idea which stations we didn't didn't do. <laughs> I think this one we didn't do. So one, two, three, four. We need it to be six. All right, let's get these deleted. Okay, configure. I hope we have enough money to buy trains after all this silliness. There we go. I do like that they're easy to count, though, how many sections you have. And if you remember that they're 40, uh, 40 meters each. Okay, delete. Probably delete this cross. Uh, let's see how it connects. It sort of connects. Yeah, I think that's probably the best connection. Yay. And you go into here. Sure. Works. Boom. Get our signals. One way, yes. Good. Okay. Did our lines survive this procedure? Apparently they did. They didn't delete the main station, so they should be fine. Um, Pep City is still too short. We could fix that right now and just make all of them on this particular line that length. We do have the space, but I don't think it would, would benefit us much because we'd have to redo something. We probably would have to kill that road. No, 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 no. That's way too much trouble right now. I want to get trains going. Okay, train, did it save? No, it did not save our train. The one that we had potentially on the line. Now then, Russian class PV, add, and then half a billion tank cars. 0.2 kilometers long. There's 0.2. It's actually more than 0.2. Okay, that's... It's not 2.5, because I think that would go up to 0.3. Yeah, I wish this was more specific. Why, why doesn't it say how many meters long? That's really silly, considering that there's plenty of space here in the UI. Um, anyway, I think that this is probably a good, a good length for the train. Six million dollars per vehicle. Well then, ah, uh, that's expensive. I think, I think we need to borrow more money. <laughs> I think. I think we need two trains. Okay, let us be a little bit more frugal about this, shall we? We need to have two trains at a minimum. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we took off eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen cars. That's a long train. Um, this is nearly five million dollars. We don't have enough to go to the next city. Um let's do eighteen. That's 16, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. That's 4 million for this. Let's go with this for now and then have the next train be uh, 8. This is a big gamble, I have to say. Like, really big. We're at our 10 million loan. Let's buy this. Okay. Yep. Oh, that was expensive. You're going to go from crude oil to oil. Let's go ahead and press play. Um, and then we want to go half of these. So one, wait, what? Eight cars. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, six, eight. 
and you are going to go to the fuel line. Oh, it's going the wrong way. No! Why does it do this? Like, if I put the route, I want it to go to the first station, not the second station, you silly game. Why are you doing that? It's like, no. no. All right, I'm going to be sneaky here because I don't want to waste this trip. That's too long of a trip. I'm going to have it stop by pressing pause. And I'm going to connect these tracks together right, like that. I'm going to have it go a little bit further up until the six. Uh, yeah. Stop. Now reverse. And hopefully it will go to the next area. Let's put in one thing. I want to put in a signal here, a one-way signal like this, so it doesn't go there. So let's go and see what it does. Please work. Please work. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Chew, 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 chew. Yes. Chew your best chew. No. Why? No. Oh, it's waiting on this one. It's fine. Yep, once it passes this one, it'll be fine. I hope. Yep, there it goes. There we go. Okay, good, good, good. All right, you go that way. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, let's delete these bits and pieces here. This one can go as well as that. Okay. Now. Look at this gorgeous thing. Let's take a moment to just look at this. Look at this quite funny bar over here. It's got this lovely brass dome and the uh, sort of traditional looking, um, uh, what do you call this thing? I forgot what it's called. The, the spout where the smoke comes out. Oh my God, chimney maybe? No, something else. I don't know, my brain is melted at the moment. I've been playing a very, very long episode because I wanted trains. I wanted trains so bad. All right, we, we're gonna wait and see really okay it's fine it will be fine we just have to go and get the oil and it'll come back hopefully we don't have so much cost that it's going to completely bankrupt us i'm slightly worried about this look at this insane amount of money we spent 11.6 million dollars on this <clears throat> venture yes but we got plenty of crude oil waiting. But if you want to see if this route is successful or not, you're going to have to join me in the next episode because alas, we have no more time for this one. So hopefully we'll get that fuel on its way to Mark Foxton. But anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.